What's up guys, this is Brett here from brettdev.com coming at you once again from Chiang Mai in Thailand. And you're probably wondering if you watch my videos regularly, Brett, what is going on? Where you're, you're normally sitting outside on the balcony, what is that behind you? This is a green screen guys. So I use this green screen in the production of my online courses and we go to quite an extensive length with production. So that is why I have it. Now, because I have it, I figured I might as well use it um, and I can use it for YouTube as well. So if you like it, tell me. If, if you don't, tell me. And um, hopefully it will help me to demonstrate what I'm gonna do in this video today. So I normally sp sit down, I normally do talking head videos and talking to you guys about freelancing, working online. We talk about a lot of strategy, a lot of um, ideas and, and lots of different interesting just topics. But um, what I really wanted to get into ever since the start of creating the channel is actually useful information that's physical and, and I can actually show you what to do. So hopefully going forward, I'm going to be producing a good few series online and um, haven't quite decided exactly what I'm going to do first. I don't really want to let it out just yet, but um, I will be producing a lot more videos like this one where we actually dive in online and I actually show you how you can do things through the computer, right? So I recently put out a video about Upwork and I spoke in there about lead generation and I also spoke about deals and following up with deals and using user funnels and stuff like that. So in this video, I really just wanted to show you how I do that, okay? So I'm gonna, I'm gonna dive in, I'm gonna jump down in the corner and you guys can watch on the screen exactly what I'm doing on my computer, right? So let's get to it. So basically I use a piece of software called Trello and Trello is kind of like a, um, like a list making application, it's very advanced, just got bought for millions actually. Um, if you're not familiar with Trello, uh, it's T-R-E-L-L-O.com, you can go on there, you can sign up, it's completely free, and the free version of this software is pretty much almost the same as the premium version. The premium version gives you extra add-ons, which are called power-ups, but you don't need them for this tutorial, and you really, most people won't need, even need the premium version anyway, unless you're collaborating with a large team. I have it, just because I, I like, I was testing it out recently, but, um, you don't really need it. So you can dive in without the premium version of this software. So how do you use Trello to follow up with leads and to secure your clients that, that you're getting online, whether it's leads for a freelancing business, whether it's leads you're picking up on Upwork, no matter where they're coming from, um, I'm gonna show you how you do it. So go ahead and come in and, and, and sign up. I've already signed up, so I'm gonna jump over to my account, which I already have. And I've already created a board. So you can create various boards on Trello. I'm not gonna get into an in-depth tutorial on what Trello is. Um, there's lots of tutorials out there that show that. I might create one later and just show you how I use it in general. But really, I'm just focused here on, on what's called a deal funnel, right? So I use this deal funnel to secure leads. And I'm gonna show you how I set that up, right? So you can create various lists within, within boards. So the first one I, I might create is like new. So any new lead that I get, We'll go in here and I'll create a new card for them. So let's just say I've, I've sent a message out to John Doe with a proposal for a job. John Doe's come back to me and said, I'm interested, can you tell me more? John Doe now goes in the new section of this funnel. So this is the first stage of the funnel and the funnel basically goes down until we get to a point of um, complete. So work complete and their, their job's been done, right? So, and what you can do in Trello is you can click the, for each um, individual, you can create a card and you can drag them and drop them into the next stage of the funnel. So it's really, really easy for keeping track of, of your clients and any leads that you get. And I would, I would recommend you do this for every single lead you get, not just every single client, but every single lead. And you can start building up a very enormous list of, of individuals that you can actually track and you can remarket to. So for example, after we've completed their work, we might move them into a remarketing list where we then try to get their customer again. So we're talking about the lifetime value of a customer here. So we, we're getting a new lead, we're putting them through the funnel, and then we wanna remarket to them once we've already completed their work and then put them back through the funnel again. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a couple more examples just so we can move people about it within the funnel and then we'll get into like filling out the funnel it's, itself, right? So um, add a couple more names. Okay, now in, in each individual card, you can actually create comments and you can actually create data on, on, these, on, the, on these individuals that you're, you're setting up cards for. Now, if you do have a premium Trello account, you can set up what's called custom fields, which is pretty cool. So you can actually, where you've got a field here for comments, you can actually create custom fields and custom fields will allow you to kind of 
put custom data in there. So you might want to be able to log their email address um, or you might want to be able to log where they actually came from, um, whether they come from email marketing or whether they come from like a Facebook ad or whatever. And um, so that's pretty handy. We're not going to get into that in this in this video, but just so you guys know. And, and any communication you actually have with, with these clients, you can actually just, you can make a note here in the comments. So for example, you could say, um, sent message to John regarding new website build. And you can actually log that comment. So then you can come back and you have like a track record, a, um, a log to see and to be able to review where you're at with at different stages with clients and it'll give you a little comment icon right here. Now every funnel doesn't have to be the same. So you can create your own funnel around your own process. So I do web development, you might do writing, uh, you might be getting clients from certain different places, but they're all essentially the same. It's just a way to keep track of your clients and to make sure that once you first initially make contact with them and once you know that they're interested, it's a way for you to en masse bring many, many leads down to the point of a sale. So I'm gonna go ahead and we're gonna fill out the rest of this funnel and I'm gonna put in some example steps that, that you may wanna use as your, your, for your own funnel and to keep track of your clients. So once, once a client's new, the, 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 the next step is to move, move them from new. So you might want to enter into a negotiation with the client, right? So this is where you're discussing the job, where you're coming up with a price, you're sending an estimate, estimate maybe. So you might move customers into the negotiation stage. And then after that, you might send them an estimate. So estimate sent. If the client confirms the work, you might want to put them into development. This is a good way to keep track of all the work you've currently got on the go as well. So all the work that's currently in development that you're working on. And then after the development's been complete, you'll be awaiting payment, right? So unless you take payment up front, which I actually advise you do. But um, there you go. So this, this is a basic funnel and it, it may differ to, to how yours looks. So for example, here we go, John, we, we sent that message to John, John's interested, okay, John's come back to us, we're now talking, okay, so now John is in the negotiation phase. Now, you might have dozens and dozens of, of, of leads and people that you're speaking to, and what a lot of people do is they reach out with one message and then they don't follow up. So, this is where this really helps en masse. You can, you can come in here and you can say, right, well, we've got 15 people currently in the negotiation phase, we've sent out 25 estimates, we need to go back to all those people that we sent estimates to and we need to see what's going on. We need to say, are they gonna go for us or not? Um, if not, why? And if, if they're not, we need to look at how we're gonna retarget them later, right? So we might send an estimate to John Doe. John might not accept our estimate. We might go back to him and say, John, are we gonna do the work or not? He might say, no, I'm, he might have another problem. It may not be an issue with the estimate. He might just say, are we doing it in, in six months time now? We're not, we're not take, pursuing the project right away. So you might wanna move John down here into remarketing. So you, you want to remarket to John later and in Trello you can actually open up the card and you can actually set a date here as well. So you can say due date. So we can say um, John doesn't want to work with us for another six months. So on the 1st of July, we'll follow up with John. And with the power-ups, you can actually enable a calendar as well, which is pretty cool. So if we go into power-ups and enable a calendar, you can then go onto your calendar and you've got a month-by-month -month calendar of... Um, all your dates which you can check. So as you can see in here, we've got on June the 1st, we're following up with John Doe and put a note on his card, um, project delayed due to lack of funding. So we'll now go back to John in, in six months time and we'll say, hey John, um, just reaching out again. And in the meantime, we might have been sending him emails, we might have been marketing to him via email uh, and following up just to keep in constant communication with him kind of prepping him for the sale, right? So so this is basically how I create, this is kind of, kind of a, a very basic version of a deal funnel. Um, like I said, Trello's got some pretty cool power-ups actually. Um, and they've got one called a aging card. So this is actually pretty interesting. If you enable aging card, the, the appearance of these cards actually change and they start to look like old torn up pieces of paper. And I quite like that because then I can see, right, this guy hasn't, we haven't interacted with this guy for ages and something needs to happen with this client you know they need to be moved further down the funnel or we need to see why they've just sat in the new column for the past three weeks or whatever so this is very basic but hopefully it will help you and this is something like i said in the previous video you really need to be looking into setting up for yourself in order to keep track of your leads and every single person that comes back to you is a lead and once you start recognizing that and you start putting people into a system like this and then you work it every day 
uh, maybe not every day, maybe um, once or twice a week, just follow up with deals, like put it in your calendar. And I only take you an hour um, or an hour or two a week and to just dive in here and follow up with all the deals. And you're just constantly moving people down your funnel. And this will give you a nice steady supply of work as a freelancer. So I hope you liked the video, guys. If you did, give me a thumbs up. And if you find it useful, share it. And if you like the green screen and this style of video, let me know in the comments because I really want to put more of these out to help you. Um, I want to actually ben benefit you guys in a real physical way where I can make these tutorials and stuff like that and it's not just me talking. It's, although I enjoy doing those, um, these are pretty cool as well. So that's it for now. This is Brett from brettdev.com and we're out. Peace. <laughs>